Why, hello there, half-elves and quarter-elves alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy, and in this episode of Draw d and I just decided to open up Photoshop and start drawing and painting, and I, uh, in doing so, I kind of rediscovered two, uh, two, the, the two principles of painting, um, and experienced them for myself. And so the two period principles are the, the two uh, major phases that there are in any painting is the drawing, is the first stage where you put down the drawing, composition, anatomy, all that stuff, getting it down, and then the painting. And the painting is very time consuming. And you'll see as I go through this process, I'm gonna go and kind of redo what I just did right there a couple of times you'll see me making it darker then bringing out the highlights and making it darker then bringing out the highlights and I'm gonna do this again with the colors um, when I go ahead and do that and um, I guess I could just keep going like infinitely and just keep dialing it down and making it more and more whatever I want it to be now even though spending time like if you want to make a really cool drawing to the best of your abilities now it's gonna take time and this took me like an hour and a half, which is a lot longer than I usually spend on any drawing or painting. <laughs> but a lot like professional digital artists will spend like 5, 10, 20, 30 hours on one piece. Um, and that's partially why it's super, they're, they're amazing pieces and stuff. But also because they have a lot of knowledge and skill and experience and creativity from all the practice and learning they've done through their lives and experience. Um, so like I could work on this piece for a thousand years, but it'll never be like 100% photorealistic because I just don't have that, though, that level of knowledge and skill at this point um, and ability. So, uh, but you'll see like as I keep working on it, it is getting a little better and better and better. And uh, I could have kept going at some point you have to stop, but um, yes, yeah, here I'm kind of like changing the lighting a bit, changing the tone, the the tone of it, and then it gets darker when I, I doubled the layer right there and merged them instead of because I duplicate layers every once in a while, just to have a backup copy and kind of to see my progress. Uh, I like to have that. So, um, so anyway, so just like it changes so frequently. And oh, one other thing I wanted to mention in this episode of Draw D and D is that um, thinking of making a new channel uh, specifically for D and D related videos and for playing D and D. Uh, a guy, a, a Jordan, who I met on this channel and we've been in contact and talking. He's gonna play. Uh, he's gonna be one of the players in this D and D game. And I think I have two other people, so I might have space for one more. So if anybody is interested and wants to play some D&D, &D, even if you don't have experience, I guess that's okay. But I guess I'm just looking for people who are like really into like the idea of Dungeons and Dragons who are genuinely excited about it. Because that's the, you know, it's fun to play with people who are as into something as you are. Um, so that's like my main criteria in trying to form this group. And here's his little parakeet animal companion. So this is our half-elf ranger. Oh, by the way, if you have any ideas or can you, you I'm curious what you think the story is in this painting you don't know the background so out of what you see here what would you think would be in the background like what is the tale being told um I'd love to hear that and I'm going to probably do the background at some point because that sounds fun this is a cute little painting I like the fact that it has a parakeet they're my favorite little creature one day I aspire to be a parakeet expert, a world-renowned parakeet expert. So I think that's it. I think this video is about to wrap up. So I shall say peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone.